In 1930, an amateur American astronomer, Clyde Tombaugh, discovered Pluto. At the time, most people thought it was the end of the long search for Planet X, but by the late 1970s, astronomers knew Pluto was too small to affect Neptune the way the theoretical Planet X should. Pluto became the incredible shrinking planet, its estimated size being downgraded until finally, scientists settled on a mass of only two-thirds the size of our own moon. Then in 2006, Pluto was downgraded itself. Other Plutoids like Sedna, Quawar, Haumea, Orcus, and Eris suggested that Pluto was not the lonely runt of the solar system, but part of an enormous neighborhood filled with other tiny, icy planets just like it, known as the Kuiper Belt. While its reclassification still has many people up in arms, the first probe to Pluto, New Horizons, is on its way to check out Pluto for us. New Horizons was launched in 2006, the same year Pluto was reclassified, and the same year its discoverer, Clyde Tomba, died. What will we discover about the still very mysterious Kuiper Belt or Pluto and the other Plutoids? Does Sedna's orbit indicate there still is a Planet X out there? Is Eris really larger than Pluto, or is Pluto still the king of the Kuiper Belt? What new horizons wait at the edge of our own astronomical neighborhood? Join us Saturday, September 1st at 5pm at the Ashcroft Observatory for a presentation on one of the most intriguing areas in astronomy, Pluto, the Plutoids, and the Kuiper Belt.